Hi. I have been drinking since 5.30, so. Yay. I wasn't too pumped to do history. Like, they said they were going to do sex ed. Like, let me do sex ed. It's like, what do you know about sex? I'm like, all right, I'll do history. That's it. I'll do history. Um, God, I am so drunk. I wrote my notes down but they're like in Sanskrit now because I'm just like seeing like three phones here. It's not great. Um, I don't know, I like history. Like there's that famous quote that says like those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. And like before that was meant to like, if your kingdom is burning down, it's like we better learn some history. Now it just means like you ate a bad like gas station sandwich. And now it's like, hey, if you didn't learn the last time, you better learn now. That's 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 a, that's the society we're living in. I feel good. I'm wearing a Israeli Defense Force shirt because I am in support of Hollywood. Am I right? It's an anti-Semitic joke. Anti-Semitic joke. All right. Woo! In the bag. All right. I'm gonna teach a little bit of history, and I'm gonna teach myself. Somebody told me I had a beer gut earlier, so now I'm just like really nervous about myself. Like, is my tummy sticking out? This doesn't feel good at all. This... A little bit of awe is there. It's like, oh, that's true, I guess. I don't know. This doesn't feel good. I don't know. I like learning history. I just like learning shit. Like, I just learned the other day that my dad's love for the movie A League of Their Own doesn't mean that he loves women li women's liberation, he just loves Madonna's legs. I just learned that, that's a, uh, feels good. Or he, he loves Rosie O'Donnell's big mouth. I don't know, she should get slapped. I don't know, um, I like her. Anyway, I'm gonna talk about America right now, all right? We had the, we had the flag, the setting is perfect, all right? So, America was founded a long time ago. It's like a really good PR move if you're like Christopher Columbus. It's like if I leave here at the end of the night and I find a tattoo parlor on the way home, that's how Christopher Columbus found America. It's like, I'm gonna turn these apples into oranges. Wait, apples are still good. That's, I don't know. It's a, yikes. Oh uh, God, it's a, uh, but uh, oh well. But we fought a war to get the British off our backs. And the war was started by the Boston Massacre. Now, if you don't know what the Boston Massacre is, that's when the British people shot into a crowd of Bostonians and killed a few of them. Which, I congratulate the British by only killing a few Bostonians, because Bostonians are the worst people in the whole world. If I was one of those redcoats, I would have killed so many more, and there would have been no excuse for what I did. It's like, yeah, they fucking suck. <laughs> They're always talking about the Red Sox. Yeah, it's a curse. No, your team sucks. So that's what happened. But they killed a, a, a black guy, a, a Crispus Attucks, which everyone in America got really upset, and they did not understand irony. Like, a slaveholder, you can't kill a black people. Come on, Toby, let's go. That's, a, that's, a, that's what uh, the Boston Massacre was. They killed this Crispus Attucks guy, and... and and it started a revolution. And, you know, we learned from that. We learned that we don't want any more revolutions. So since then, we've just been locking up our black people just to keep them safe. That's a... <laughs> That's a joke. Just, we don't, we don't want any more kerfuffles. That's what we want. And then during the Revolutionary War, Nathan Hale, 
if you know him, he was hanged as a spy. And his last words were, I regret that I only have one life to give for my country. Which, it sounds pretty heroic, but Nathan Hale thought he were working on some sort of like Mario system where he had like two more lives. He's like, hey, I got a star. That means, I'm a, that means I get like two more, right? That's a, that's a thing. All right. Oh, well. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm not even... I'm not even fronting. I am so fucked up. <laughs> this is... I'm in an unsafe place right now. I'm about to text my ex-girlfriend unsafe. That's where I'm at right now. I love you! All right, anyways. Let's have a baby. That'll fix everything. That's... <laughs> Everyone thinks that the first president was uh, George Washington. That's totally not true. Uh, our first president was John Hansen, who must be just pissed off that he's not even mentioned in any history books. He's like, yeah, I totally, I, I was in charge of this whole thing during the Revolutionary War. But yeah, totally not even waste like an ounce of ink on my name. That's a, that's a thing that happened. That's a... I'm just saying, he thought he was going down to history books. He's totally wrong. And he's now like a trivia question for nerds. That's all I am. <laughs> but uh, during the writing of the independence declaration thing, <laughs> Decla no, um, not the emancipation, that third thing we did. Um, <laughs> We, we did like three things. I, I'm spacing on the second one. <laughs> no, that's the first thing, sir. You know what? Take your orange glow vest and go stop traffic. Anyways, we like we were trying to come together as a nation, but like the southern states, like we have slaves, and that's kind of important to us. So we don't want them as like full people. So can we just like count them as like? kind of like a quarter of a person. And this is what it is. It's in the, it's in the, it's in something. <laughs> the Constitution? Constitution, yes! Yes! Fuck yeah! Bill of Rights. Bill of no, Rights? No, no, you were right the uh, first time. Shut, shut up. Anyways. <laughs> it's literally in the Constitution that black people only count as three-fifths of a vote which is insanely evil on slaveholders because now they're making us do math, right? That's, uh, that's insane. Because I, if I was there, I was like, can we count them as at least half people? Because now I'm like trying to add up two, three-fifths. I can't do that. That's like one and a half people. It's like, can we, can we round them off to an even number at least? That's insane. That's bonkers. That's retarded. Anyways, so anyways... Um, after that whole kerfuffle with the Revolutionary War, we st we uh, bought some land from the Spanish, or no, the French, I'm sorry, the French, the Louisiana Purchase, and we bought a shitload of Middle America because, like, our President Adams was like, hey, we need a good place to shoot True Detective in 2014. We need... <laughs> Louisiana will be perfect. Alabama does not double for Louisiana. It doesn't matter how much kudzu you threw up. It's Louisiana. But, um... There oh. it is. Oh, Jesus. All right. Take it, teach. Oh, thank you. I, I look like a teacher who just got back from DUI court. That's what I look like. <laughs> Here's the swim with bow-legged women. Cheers. You know what? Before you leave, you should tell us about Caligula. <laughs> oh, God. Something you're passionate about. I am I'm so passionate about Caligula. Anyways. <laughs> nope, guess not. <laughs> I, I want to talk about America, man. We're we living in America. Anyways, what the fuck was I? All right, so he bought, and he sent, like, Lewis and Clark out to investigate America, I guess. And I'm still baffled by the fact that they actually, like, it, like explored America. Because before satellites, you could just, like, tell any tale you wanted to. Like, Lewis and Clark could have fucked off for a year in a cabin reading, like, French erotica, and they would have been just like, yeah, we found dragons and shit, you made a good purchase. <laughs> Some sweet sacage away of fan <laughs> pornography. Yeah. You know, uh, it was like, hey, I, w I, went to, I went to, like, Kansas, I didn't see any dragons. Oh, we went a different way. You should have went the way we went. <laughs> but, 
And then we'll fast forward a little bit because I'm not good at history. Anyways, um, <laughs> what? <laughs> You're fired, young man. <laughs> I'm gonna get to this. Um, Secretary Seward, I'm gonna do some local banter. Secretary Seward, he bought Alaska in 1849 from the Russians and it was called famously Seward's Folly because they're a more polite society. In the back rooms, they're calling it Seward's Massive Fuck Up. <laughs> so you just bought a frozen wasteland. Well, no one's gonna wanna live there. And he was mostly right, that's it. <laughs> but then Seward said, hey, uh, half off beer until 10 o'clock and a shitload of people moved up there. So it's a <laughs> success for Seward. Actually, here's a little tidbit. During World War II, um, when the Jews were getting, let's say, bullied in Europe, you know? <laughs> so, they said, let's, all, let's just move the Jews to Europe. Uh, let's just move the Jews to Alaska. It'll explain all the beards, you know? And, um, <laughs> and like a lot of people was like, no, we, we can't have that. Apparently, like, working on Saturday was like a sticking point for Americans. That's a, that's a real thing. All right, watch Big Lebowski. You'll understand that joke. Anyways, um... <laughs> I don't roll on Shabos, all right? Anyways, I'll get to my last point because this is only first period. Uh, our first president that was assassinated, Lincoln, was, um, he was at a play with his wife and he got shot in the back of the head, which I think is really just like, he set a new bar for trying to get out of bullshit. That's a, I can't stay for the play, I have a hole in my head. That's a, <laughs> it is what it is. All right. My name is Matt, and I'm going to go take a nap. Yeah! <laughs>